Okay, students, I want to show you the, the gluing process for the mini cedar chest. We've got our box built, okay? I've got it dry clamped. Everything looks flush and smooth, okay? And uh, square, we'll check for square as well. Um, and I'm going to show you how you add your glue. I've got it in the clamps right now. I do recommend using six clamps. Okay, so here we go. Let me put this on. All right, hopefully I've got it angled so you can see well. I'm going to take the clamps off. We dry clamp so we know it works, right? You always want to dry clamp before you add your glue. Because once you add glue, it's kind of hard to take it back if things aren't fitting together, right? So I'll put my clamps to the side. As I mentioned before, we have to be careful. This thing is fragile until we get it all glued together with the even the bottom, the base on it. That makes it nice and strong. But if it were to fall on the floor now, it would, I guarantee you, end up in pieces. So I'm gonna pull this thing apart very carefully. And see how I'm doing that? All the, the, the bottom edges are together, so I stand them up. I need to get the, uh, the biscuits out because we gotta put glue in there, right? Ooh, that one's really tight. So I always have pliers ready so I can pull a tight one out. Okay. All right, so we're ready to glue. Each pocket gets, um, each pocket gets the, uh, the glue. Um, I just saw the pencil lines. That's why I was hesitating. It would be easier, guys, if I were to get rid of the pencil lines now, but I don't want to do that because of the, um, the rush of getting this video out to you. But I do have that in your plan of procedure. Erase your pencil lines. It's a lot harder to get into the corner of a box and erase a pencil line or having to sand it out, right? So that's something you could do first. Notice that I've got my graph uh, graphics on my panel. I wasn't gonna put anything on the other sides. You could, if you wanted to. We would wanna do that before we glue it together, right? Once it's together, there's no way it'll fit in our CNC router or laser. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna start on this corner and work my way around, okay? So I know I need glue in my, uh, don't need a whole lot, but I'm gonna glue there in the groove. My glue bottles have something to be desired. And I've got a little glue spreader. I can get it down in there a little better. Okay, guys, we do have to hurry. Open time is only a few minutes. Okay, and then, uh, don't want to confuse myself here. Then it starts crusting over. So um, on this piece, we want some inside the... Uh, the groove right inside our biscuit hole won't take much to make it uh, stick and then I want it on the entire edge okay using my finger you could use the glue spreader. I find it easier to just use my finger. Okay, now I know that's the bottom edge and that should be the bottom edge because I can see my table saw marks. Is that right? Yep. All right, so that's gonna stand up like that. That's gonna stand up like that. So I'm ready for my biscuits. There's a biscuit and I'm putting it in the middle 
of that notch. Okay, a little bit of extra there. What am I doing here? <laughs> I need it to be like that, don't I? You guys saw me mess up. Putting some in there, some in there, and on this edge, and then I need to get that other edge done quick. Two minutes open time. Then it's like five minutes of close time, right? Probably be better if I would have marked it with the pencil so I wouldn't have got confused. Now I've got that done, right? Pushing that together and getting it close. Not sure why that didn't go down. That's better, that's better. All right, I need some glue in here for my biscuit. All right, trying to get it in the middle. And I put that together. All right, pretty flush, pretty tight. Go on to the next one. All right, so I'm gonna work with this first, I think. Yep, that's table saw. You guys could work together as a, uh, you know, a couple of you helping each other and it might go better than one person. Okay, gonna put that on and that. These biscuits should really help us make a much stronger box, stronger joint. Okay, then I'm gonna go along our edge. Wanna get every bit of it. Every square inch. I'm hoping I've got my GoPro angled so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm trying. All right, so we could then put the biscuits in there. Don't guess it matters which side, but when you put the biscuits in, try to get them centered in the slots. It's a mess. We're doing it. Okay, now I need a little bit of, oh boy. Need a little bit of glue in these, right? Getting it in the slot. Okay. This isn't going as good as I would like. I probably should have uh, got this done when it was horizontal. Hindsight's 2020, right? Okay, here we go. Getting that together. Okay, then I've just got a minute or so to get it flush. Notice I'm using a, a block of wood, not beating on the project because you would break your joint. 
you could break your joint very easily. Pretty flush, pretty flush. And pretty flush, ready for clamps. Okay, notice I'm using the short end, short side of the clamp. That's because if I use the long side, it's going to break my seams where the tongue is. Use the short side of the clamp. And you don't have to go even one hand tight, not all the way tight. Okay, this is a delicate project, so you want it snug. You want to see it pull together and a little bit of glue squeeze out. I'm going to go with this one on top. Still using the short inside, and I've got it lined up. Bringing that top together, snug. Oh boy, I've got two clamps to get. What in the world? All right, that's ridiculous. Okay, hopefully I can bring this together still. I see a gap there. Yeah, closing up nicely. Okay, good. Tightening those. All right, and I'm gonna go with one more in the middle. You can see a little split, a little gap in there. This should pull that together.